हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ज्ञानविहार स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम डॉक्टर सोनिया कौर बंसल एंड टुडे इज टॉपिक इज फोकस ग्रुप डिस्कशन एंड रिसर्च एंड सब्जेक्ट इज मैथोलॉजी ऑफ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी uh about focused group discussion what it is and my learning objective would be including uh introduction of focused group discussion how it is working and what are the advantages and disadvantages what are the types of focused group discussion how a researcher should um, focus on this type of technique to collect the data so i hope all of you will learn in a very good manner attentively so let's start the topic with its description in an elaborative manner so uh, i hope you will understand it so students let's discuss that focus group discussion is frequently used as a qualitative approach to gain an in depth understanding of social issues there are many things when a researcher is seeking some kind of uh, quality in the research and if it is uh, more likely on the social issues than it is expected from the researcher to have some qualitative findings also so in that case group discussion focus group discussion is very uh, important and useful technique This method actually aims to obtain data from a purposely selected group of individuals rather than from a statistically representative sample of a broader population. So first thing is clear in that it here in this uh, type of method of research data collection when the researcher is investigating on a particular social issue then it is actually expected from the researcher to purposely select a group so purposive sampling will be done of the limited group of people then only they will be doing the focus group discussion so even though the application of this method in uh, conservation research has been extensive so there are no critical assessment of the application of this technique because it is uh, somehow very useful technique so it is expected from the researcher to draw the conclusions in an effective manner so in addition there are no readily available guidelines for the conservation of the researchers now let us discuss about the areas of focus what we are going to uh, study here so areas of focus that what we, how we are going to study in this uh, lecture today that are my learning objectives as well so outline type of focus group discussions how it is done how it is framed and how it is organized and why use fgt focus group discussions uh, why it is important what's its significance in that uh, particular research type so then next we are going to see about how focus group discussions are administered so this is very important to understand at the administration of any uh, research method that you are going to apply on your sample then after that how you are going to analyze the data that's also very important to understand then advantages and disadvantages of focus group discussion and then types of focus group discussion how the organizer is doing that so now focus group discussion these are a form of qualitative research so understand this thing first of all that this is actually the form of qualitative research where you are actually seeking the quality in some virtues in some traits in some aspects so in which a group of participant is working and they are asked about their perceptions their ideas their beliefs opinions about certain aspects when we are involving some individuals for the group discussion or the focus group discussion then it is supposed from all the participants to express their perceptions what do they think about a particular aspect or their ideas belief or maybe their opinion about certain aspects of your study so this is done in an interactive group setting so just uh, imagine the group setting where everybody is discussing very um, nicely or in an healthy way to um, come on to the conclusion on a particular topic 
Now, why FGTs? So, this is a basic question. Why focus group discussions? Why we are uh, studying it? So, according to Gibbs, uh, 1997, the FGTs draw upon respondents' attitudes, feelings, beliefs, experiences, and reactions in a way in which would not be feasible using other methods like observation, questionnaire, or experimental, or any other method which we assume. So <clears throat> this is very important that if we want to know about the attitudes of the respondents, then we have to put them in some situation. And we have to put them in some group discussion type of method where we are knowing about their real ideas about something. So these attitude, feelings and beliefs are more likely to be revealed via the social gathering. We present ourselves best when we are in social gathering. So and the interaction which being in a focus group entails. So compared to individual interviews, which aim to op obtain individual attitudes, beliefs, and feelings, focus group bring out a multiplicity of views and emotional processes within a group context. So whatever the social issues are being discussed, it is not like that students, that everybody is having the same concept, same attitude towards the problem. So many of the views are accumulated at one place, one platform, and everybody is given chance to discuss upon that. And this is how the researcher is actually uh, getting the data from a group discussion. So focus group are particularly used when there are power differences between the participants and the decision makers or the professionals. So it is important for you all to know when you have uh, selected a topic like this where there is a power difference between the participants who are actually focusing on the group discussion and decision makers of particular um, society or institution or any social issues or professionals. So when the everyday use of language and culture of a particular group of uh, is interest is different from each other, by that time also focus group uh, discussion is uh, used. And when one wants to explore the degree of um, consensus on a given topic, how it is used and how it is actually going to be done in a particular way, so it is used in, at that time also. Now, students, let's understand about types of FGTs, focus group discussions. So first of all, uh, let me introduce with the three types that are exploratory and then clinical type. And then third is phenomenological type. Exploratory, as its name suggests, that it is exploring something. So these serve as a means of generating hypothesis. So when we are uh, actually exploring something, so we have already set a hypothesis of a particular research problem. And that research problem is leading to some tentative solutions also, which are called hypothesis. And by focus group discussion method when we are actually forcing some uh, individuals or when we are organizing a type of group discussion within some uh, individuals then the researcher is exploring something or searching something to solve those tentative uh, hypothesis or tentative solution of the research problem. So this is called exploratory type that you are finding out something out of that. Then clinical. Secondly, the type of clinical, it is very also important also from the medical point of view. So it provide insight into participants unconscious motivations. Sometimes it happens that when we are dealing with a social issue or any particular issue related to um, less motivation or not doing uh, work properly so it is somehow we are working upon an unconscious manner and the group discussion is done in that way that uh, focuses more on remedy giving remedies to the motivation level 
so it is giving insight to the participants in an indirect manner all right students next third type is about phenomenological it is actually giving researcher an access to participants common sense conceptions and everyday explanations sometimes what we assume might get fail what we hypothesize might not get correct so in that case it is quite possible that when we are putting up a particular sample of group of people in a in a situation where they are discussing something so every day explanations are becoming more easy to find out or more easy to observe so in that situation the researcher is collecting true data all right students so this is about phenomenological that what is perceived by the researcher how do they do how do they discuss on a particular topic okay so exploratory clinical and phenomenological are the types of group discussions now let's understand designing focus group interviews so how it is done and first of all before that characteristics of a focus group so understand it very carefully in four points so first of all participants are carefully recruited 6 to 10 people in each group it means that the researcher is organizing two or three or more whatever the groups are required for proper research data collection the participant is actually um, made according to that so the researcher is organizing all the groups and they are recruited very minutely very carefully because it is the um, responsibility of the researcher to collect the proper data so when Uh, appropriate individuals are included in focus group interviews then only its target will be achieved and just remember only 6 to 10 people in one group are included all right students so next is to think to take care the interviews are conducted in a comfortable circle setting with a provision for recording recording is done for the purpose that if anything or any point is missing out during the conversation the researcher can view it later on also for proper analysis so it should be done in a very comfortable the uh, respondents or the participants must not be uncomfortable or they should given up a proper setting by the researcher so that uh, they are more and more free comfortable to express their perceptions ideas on a certain aspect sitting must be in a circle form and they must face each other when they are ready for the fgt then point number 3 the moderator should be skilled in group discussions moderator must be experienced students using pre determined questions and able to establish a permissive environment so moderator should be kind of a person or maybe the researcher himself that he or she should ask such type of pre determined questions that is actually giving boost up to a healthy focus group discussion and it is actually done in a permissive environment not in an aggressive environment so when everybody is uh, expressing the opinions thoughts ideas or perception or views about any certain aspect then it is really in, done in a comfortable manner so it is the task of a uh, moderator also now number 4 point which is very important characteristics of focus group discussion that the analysis should be done systematically with verifiable procedures and reporting done appropriately as in the previous point uh, we have, i have told you that there should be a pro um, provision for recording also so after verifying all the points what the participants have said and what the participants have expressed during the discussion time the analysis would be done on the basis of that only all right students
now designing focus group interviews and in this let's study about moderator skills how should be the moderator moderator is the person who is actually giving boost up to the focus group uh, discussions and he is the one or she is the one who is starting the discussion and who is actually bringing them all the participants together at one platform and he is also taking care of important things while the discussion is being done so there are a uh, few five points which you have to um, keep it in your mind while you are um, discussing or while you are thinking about moderator skills so first of all the moderator should exercise mild control with adequate knowledge of the topic and a liking to the participants yes students it is very important that the moderator should not lose the temper he should be of this type that he should have control on himself first and then participants also and in a very manipulative manner in a very good manner and the moderator must have adequate knowledge also about the topic that is being discussed by the participants and what do the what do the participants like and dislike about the uh, topic the moderator must get the idea because sometimes it happens if the moderator is knowing about the particular uh, topics liking or disliking of the participants then it becomes little easy to handle the situation when sometimes there are the there is a hot discussion on a particular topic so it should be of a mild control nature then secondly use an assistant to handle the logistics take careful notes and monitor the recording equipment so for these purpose the moderator should not do himself that he must have an assistant to do all the logistic work which is which are very important for the focus group discussions like uh, uh, sitting arrangement and handling all the recording uh, equipments and whatever the notes being taken in care so all these things are very important for the researcher so next thing be mentally prepared and alert and free from distractions with the discipline of listening and familiar with questioning yes of course students it is one of the most important skill of any moderator that he must be a very good listener until unless the moderator is not listening properly to the all participants how would he be achieving to a particular decision or the conclusion at the end of the group discussion so he should be mentally prepared for that that i have to listen properly to all the participants and it should be alert also because if he is not alert then maybe sometimes in the group discussion the focus may get distracted and his own focus must not also be distracted so the whole focus must be shifted to that particular aspect what the group um, focus group discussion is being done so th there should be a discipline focus group all right children now nextly the moderator should create a warm and friendly environment it should not be in a very uh, tyranny type of thing or that a very um very uh, like dominating type of thing so it should be done in a friendly environment because uh, if you give respect to your participants they will ensure um a very good discussion among them make it sure they are seated comfortably and they have no issues with them the next is introduction should be smooth and warm welcoming participant is very important by the moderator and introducing them with each other is very important so giving an overview of the topic and establishing expectations and ground rules before beginning with the process is very much important uh, task uh, by the moderator so i hope you have understood this much so let's uh, proceed further now designing focus group interviews how they are done so first of all it should be 
focus group should be able to use pauses and probes and moderator skill when we are using it should be able to record using recorders and through writing also it should not be like that the candidates or the moderator are just speaking and they are there is no interest in listening and there is lot of distractions also so when you are using recorders and you are using writing so also nowadays audio visual uh, recording is very easy through cameras and all that so control reaction to the participants using both verbal and non verbal communication is also required in between so it is very important when you do it now moderator should use control of the group identity identify and manage the experts dominant talkers encourage the shy participants and manage the ramblers ramblers are the persons who are actually creating some disturbance while uh, there is a group discussion so that case must also be handled very amicably by the moderator so use appropriate conclusions summarize with confirmation review the purpose and task and ask if any has been missed and at the end thank all the participant then dismiss with some conclusion so again i repeat that moderator should use pauses and probes also when there are no proper answers he must probe on something then should be able to record use recorders through writing or recording through technological way control reaction should be there and verbal and non verbal communication should happen in the focus group discussion there should be a control on the group and identify and manage the experts that though there are some participants who are expert of the uh, a particular aspect identify them and identify dominant talkers also actually they do not talk say, uh, something fruitful sometimes but they dominate the whole process and encourage the shy participants also there are some people some participants who are actually feeling shy to talk to each other so by that time moderator's role is very important and he should manage the disturbing elements also although the re recruitment of the individuals is done very minutely so the, these chances are less when ramblers are here but you cannot uh, uh, assume human behavior beforehand so let's uh, understand this in that way so appropriate uh, conclusion should be there now focus group questions now what should be done and what questions should be asked and what should be avoided as i have told you about the types of different questions so it would be must be very easy for you to understand all these things so firstly students avoid dichotomous questions these will give you true or false yes or no answers and here what we want we want some discussion if you are saying are you happy so this is type of question that uh, generally participant will reply in yes or no but you will not be able to get the clear idea why the participant is not happy or why the participant is ha happy so the question should be framed in that way that it comes to an explanation process or thought provoking process that why are you happy what makes you happy what makes you unhappy so these are some type of questions that must be framed or dichotomous questions must be avoided now avoid using why as much as possible should ask for attributes only why are you thinking like that no this is not the way all the time you cannot ask once in a while or few times it is okay but all the time we cannot be of this attitude that all the time we are asking participants why why so it is it will be little uncomfortable to the participants also use think back questions it means thought provoking questions they are very very important 
you must not neglect the importance of thought provoking questions so moderator must ask those questions in which thought provoking is done by him and all the participants in the group are encouraged to do a wonderful discussion upon that focused point so use different types of questions maybe at the opening maybe at the introductory level maybe at the transition level when one topic is shifting from another topic a key and ending question so there are various uh, places at the time of fgd when the moderator is asking the questions and he is developing that group discussion into a wonderful uh, exploration of finding so use questions that get the participants involved reflective examples choices rating scales etc so questions uh, are involved uh, in such a way that is asking for the examples it is acting, actually making the process of group discussion a very comfortable and smoother for everyone when we are giving ratings or picking choices or giving different examples of anything so use that question if you are asking give some examples of uh, fruitful discussions so this is how the process is done in questioning process of fgd now focus the question move from general to specific questions yes it is the teaching principle also and we always encourage our prospective teachers and researchers also to always move from general to specific specific is the situation where you want to be actually directly concentrated or be attentive towards that target area only but generally what people think that must also be applied first and what then specific all right then be cautious of unexpected questions they should come last yes there are some questions which come actually unexpectedly so be cautious of them also they should come at last now let's study about note taking what is note taking students i have told you in a very elaborative manner in my previous lecture what is note taking and it is the responsibility of assistant of the moderator and we call assistant moderator note taking is very important when the group discussion is being going on and by that time some important exploration is being done or maybe at the clinical or phenomenological type of discussion is going on so the note taking should be consistent and clear clarity should be key since the notes may be looked at after all the research is done which may be after a week or so it is important to ensure clarity and for that purpose we can record also when we are we are preparing a report and when we are taking a notes so just uh, take care of all the important things that we have to do while preparing the notes so the field notes should contain different types of information quotations for further clarity or expressing or expressing something that is uh, not uh, actually uh, known to students so students uh, we are actually talking about that note taking is very important so capture key points and themes for each questions note follow up questions for future clarity big ideas or thoughts of the recorder should also be recorded and discussed later take note of other factors like the non verbal activity body language how do the participants are reacting these minute details must also be taken in care that may help further understand the atmosphere in the group and give clues to level of agreement also now students after studying how it should be designed now let's study about types of focus group discussion so let's understand the focus groups discussion type what they are so first of all single focus group now single focus group is 
uh, the type where the key feature of a single focus group is the interactive discussion of a topic by a collection of all participants and a team of facilitators as one group in one place. So this is most common and classical type of focus group discussion, which is called single group focus group discussion. And it has been widely used by both researchers and practitioners across different disciplines. Next is about two way focus group. As its name suggests, this format involves using two groups. In single focus group, there was a single group and who was interactive and making the discussions on a particular topic. And by collecting of all the participants, team of facilitators, they are making the discussion and the conclusion is drawn on basis of them. But in two group way focus group, there are two groups where one group actively discusses a topic whereas the other observes the first group all right just understand it in that way first there are two groups one group is actively discussing and second group is actually um, passively observing the first group so usually this type of focus group is conducted behind a one-way glass all right, students, so there is a one way glass also, which is actually done here. So the observing group and the moderator can observe what's going on and note the interactions and discussion points of the first groups without being seen. They are not the first group the who is actively discussing on a certain aspect of any issue. They are not actually seen by the another group. Okay, so there is a glass uh, way also. One way glass is where there we can see we can see the other aspect, but the person is not able that we are seeing him. So hearing what the other group thinks, or by observing their interactions, often leads the second group to different conclusions than those it may have reached otherwise. So this is fantastic idea of FGD, two-week focus group discussion, and very interesting also. Third type of focus group discussion is dual moderator focus group. So it involves the students, two moderators, dual moderator. As its name suggests, there is not a single moderator. There are two moderators, OK? And they are working together and they both of them performing together. Uh, and a different role is given to them within the same focus group. The division of role ensures a smooth progression of the session and ensures that all topics are covered very minutely. Okay, students. So dual moderator focus group having two moderators. Now... Fourth type of focus group discussion is dwelling moderator focus group. It involves students, two moderators who purposefully take opposing sides on an issue or topic under investigation. Proponents believe that the introduction of contrary views to the discussion by the moderators is critical to achieving more in-depth disclosure of data and information. So dueling type of moderator is something which is different from dual moder moderator focus group. Okay, students, they are working on same focus group, but there are oppos opposite and uh, sides of one thing and they are uh, actually intentionally choosing another side. Then next, responding moderator focus group is another type of focus group discussion. And in this type of focus group discussion, researchers recruit some of the participants to take up a temporary role of moderators, having one of the participants lead to uh, the discussion is thought to impact on the dynamics of chances and uh, chances as well as uh, by grouping the influence of participants answers thereby increasing the chances of varied and more honest responses 
so this is basically depends on the respondent's moderator focus group now sixth type is mini focus group researchers are usually faced with a situation where there is a small potential pool of participants and we do not have so much with us and are difficult to reach that uh, particular uh, potential pool of participants yet the research design requires that the topic must be discussed in a group only then um proper data collection will be there under these circumstances researcher can only convene a small group of uh, between 2 or 5 participants so such group are usually made up of individuals with high level of expertise also so mini focus group is equally very important but it just remember that it is made up of experienced people and they are learned people where they are discussing on a situation where it is required to solve some research problems all right then seventh point is related to uh, the type of online focus groups now what is online focus group let's understand it online focus groups are not a different uh, type of focus group discussion per as uh, but one born out of the introduction of the internet as an adaptation of traditional methods so it is applied within the online environment also using conference calling chat rooms or other online means so students online focus group boost an aura of dynamism modernity competitiveness that transcends classic problems with face to face focus uh, group discussion but however uh, these uh, discussions platform are only accessible to the participants with access to the internet and who are more techno savvy also and are prone to technical problems and uh, this is away from those participants who are expert in their field but they are not so much techno savvy so these were the types of group we have studied about focus group discussion i hope you remember it now how the systematic analysis is done let's have a look upon it first of all start while in the group may ask for further clarity of anything that may be hard to understand while analyzing probe for further understanding ask to clarify vague comments offer summary key questions and seek for confirmation then secondly immediately after the focus group discussion drop picture of sitting arrangement check the tape recording apparatus if they have done the pro recording properly or not to ensure operation just uh, in that case conduct moderator and <clears throat> assistant debriefing label and file field notes drawing etc is also necessary then soon after the focus group discussion analyze the individual discussion also make backup copies of the recordings and enter into computer an analyst should listen to tape very carefully review field notes prepare report on questions by questions format okay students then later make an analysis of all the fo focus group discussions and compare the findings also so look for emerging themes per question describe findings using quotes to illustrate and finally now the time is to prepare the report and you can use various reporting styles such as uh, narrative and can use illustrations also for clarity sequence questions by questions share with others for review purpose also so that you can come to the conclusion this is the systematic way of analysis of focus group discussion now what are the advantages of this fgt so let's have a look on them in a very brief way so they first of all produce information which would not be accessible in a different settings all right students so group members discover a different way 
by which to express themselves definitely when they have been given a chance to uh, do more better in some other platform they do uh, they do express themselves in a very fine way they given opportunity for disclosure among similar others also so what is the similarity of thoughts perception in the participants it is also leading towards that as well as what are the dissimilarities it is leading towards that also in a clear format then they give us access to certain kinds of qualitative phenomena that are poorly studied with other methods as i have told you this is the fantastic method and no critics have been actually criticizing uh, this method because it is actually availing a very good sort of data which is coming directly from a natural uh, setting of uh, discussion so fgds offer a chance to observe participants engaging in interaction that is concentrated and attitude and experiences that are of interest to the researcher so one is able to capture phenomena that are almost entirely limited to interactions like comparisons then it can also remove activities that do not exist at individual level like resolution of incompatibilities because it is giving chances to everyone then it is empowering the participants who participate in the research work and know they are part of the decision making progress and it is giving a wonderful feeling to the participants when they are joining a discussion part so participation become more confident in that case it captures real life information in a social environment it has high face validity also students so it frequently brings out an anticipated aspects of the topic then focus group can be relatively low cost and provide quick results also this is very good advantage of it the actual time and cost for planning conducting and analyzing data may be relatively small when compared to alternatives such as survey projects and individual interviews focus groups are a flexible assessment tool interactions between the moderator and participants allow the moderator to probe issues in depth address new issues as they arise and to ask participants to elaborate on their responses so participants may be more comfortable talking in a group than in an individual interview interactions can generate more discussions and therefore more informations so the data is in the respondents own word system later on and it is easily understood and will provide insights into how respondents think about the topic and how they perceive about a certain aspect all right students now we have seen the advantages in detail now let's have a look on the disadvantages also because we have to see some disadvantages also only then we are coming up to the right understanding of fgd focus group um, discussion now first of all the participant might withhold some of the responses hence getting just part of the information we are not sure if the participant is fully expressing himself or herself or not so there are some chances that uh, the person is withholding some of the responses with him only next Uh, the participants may at times tell the researcher that they think he or she wants to hear then unnatural environment is created because uh, you have to be in strict discipline also so in which they are conducted and the researcher's lack of control over the course of discussion at times may also occur so the focus groups are constructed by individuals who also have limitations and inclination meaning that even the observations will be affected by the same limitations then maybe the shy members of fgd might feel intimidated 
so this is also one of the disadvantage the fgt is open ended and cannot be predetermined so what situation will be created we are not sure because we are dealing with the human beings and human behaviors so this is one of the advantages that we cannot be predetermined with the situations the researcher has less control than individual interviews data is difficult to analyze moderators interviews require special skills differences within groups can be troublesome sometimes and discussions must be conducted in a conducive environment also so it is very difficult how to you, the researcher is going to analyze the data afterwards although the systematic steps were given but sometimes it becomes very difficult to interpret the conversation into analysis now this is uh, one of the case that, that i'm going to share with you all that uganda microfinance institution had a range of loan products on the market at first the institution did very well and had big clientele however as more microfinance institutions joined the market offering the same products competition became stiff in order to up their game they decided to conduct a market research to enable them to improve on their products all right and to do this they partnered with micro save a consultancy firm which guided the process of the market research at the beginning of the process the consultancy set with the staff of the micro finance institution to look at the different products and their characteristics so this was a type that a focus group discussion was made they came up with different product prototypes after this they went out to the communities to test the marketability of the different prototypes so this is how they solved their problem this is another case to be able to gather information micro work save decided to use focus group discussions uh, um, this is the same that, that in continuation the staff of vf uganda mobilized groups of about 12 people in the areas where they were already operating and during fgd they tested out the different prototypes and were able to get opinions about the different products and their packaging also during that process the micro save experts worked with the vf uganda staff who assisted with the moderation of the different discussions from the analysis of the information gathered they improved on the prototypes which they put out on the market for pilot testing for two consecutive loan cycles during the pilot testing period more information was gathered now so after which final products were designed and put out on the market so when the products were launched there was a huge response from a market which pushed vf uganda to the next level so this is how fgd worked very uh, brilliantly for vf uganda company and they done better in their marketing and their selling of the products so students these are some references for your purposes uh, for more study and i hope you will enjoy um, reading them and just studying them so uh, this was all about today's class and i hope you have understood well and uh, you will enjoy uh, reading that more about it so students uh, see you in the next class till then take care stay safe and stay healthy